Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss different type of defuzzification techniques in a fuzzy logic with the help of simple solid example. Defuzzification is a process of converting a fuzzified output into a single crisp value with respect to fuzzy set. Defuzzification value is used to take action in a controlling process. Here we have different defuzzification methods. Those are center of sum method, center of gravity or centroid of area method, center of area or bisector of area method, weighted average method, maxima methods. In this we have first of maxima method, last of maxima method and mean of maxima method. So these methods we will discuss one by one. To discuss these methods, I am considering this problem. Here we have two fuzzy sets A1 and A2. So first I will consider first method that is a center of sum method. In this method, to calculate the crisp value, we are using this formula. That is summation of k is equal to 1 to n. A k into x k bar divided by summation of k is equal to 1 to n A k. Where AK is an area of each fuzzy set, XK bar is centroid of that fuzzy set and N is a number of fuzzy sets. So here we need to calculate area for the fuzzy set A1 and area for the fuzzy set A2. So first I will consider the first fuzzy set A1. So first fuzzy set will look something like this. The area can be calculated for this fuzzy set is half multiplied with the base plus flat to multiplied with height. So here the base is 8 minus 1 plus flat to is where the membership value is maximum. Here we can see that membership value is maximum at this point. So the x values are 7 and 3. So flat to value is 7 minus 3 multiplied with height. Height is 0.5. So, we will get the area for the first fuzzy set is 2.75. And for the first fuzzy set, we need to find the centroid. So, for the rectangle, the centroid can be calculated with the base value where the uh, membership value is maximum. Uh, here, the membership value is maximum at this point. So, the base values are 7 plus 3 divided by 2, which is equal to 5. So, similarly, we need to find the area for the second uh, fuzzy set and the centroid for the second fuzzy set. So, here we can see that the second fuzzy set will look like this. So, A2 is equal to 1 divided by 2, 9 minus 3 plus flat 2 values 8 minus 4 multiplied with height that is 0.3 which is equal to 1.5. So, centroid value is 8 plus 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 6. So once you find all those values, we will put those values in this equation. We will get the crisp value as 5.35. This is by using the center of sum method. So now I will discuss the next method that is the center of gravity or centroid of area. So, here we will use this formula that is summation of ai into xi divided by summation of ai. Here what we will do, we will uh, divide whole fuzzy sets into sub areas. So, here we can see that first area is a triangle, second is a rectangle and third one is a sub triangle and fourth one is a small rectangular and fifth one is a small rectangular and sixth one is a triangle. For those sub areas, we need to find the areas and we need to find the centroid. First, I will consider this triangle. For this triangle, we are getting the base as a 2 because 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 and height as 0.5. So, for the triangle, the area formula is 1 by 2 into base into height. So, A1 is equal to 1 by 2 into 2 into 0.5 which is equal to 0.5. So, next I will consider the second area that is a rectangle. 
for the rectangle the area formula is width into height so here we can see that width is 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4 height is 0.5 so we'll get the area for this rectangle is 2 so similarly we will find the area for this small triangle for this triangle we are getting the base as 7.5 minus 7 which is equal to 0.5 and height is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is from here to here that is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3 which is equal to 0 0.2. So, we will get the area for this triangle is 0 0.05. So, similarly we will get the area for this rectangle is 0 0.15 and for this fifth uh, sub area is 0 0.15 and for this sixth triangle is 0 0.15. So, once you find the area for all the regions, next we need to find the centroid. So, first I will find the centroid for the first triangle. For the triangle, while finding the centroid, we will consider the uh, end points. Here we can see that end points are 1 plus 3 plus 3 divided by number of end points. Those are 3. So, 7 divided by 3 which is equal to 2.333. So, next we will consider the uh, rectangle. For this one, I will calculate the centroid. For the rectangle, we need to consider the base point that is 7 plus 3 divided by 2 which is equal to 5. And for this small triangle, centroid will be 7.1667 because here the end points are 7.5, 7 and 7 divided by Three, those are number of endpoints, so which is equal to 7.1667. Similarly, we will find the centroid for the fourth, fifth, and sixth regions. So we will get uh, uh, x5 as 7.750 and x6 as 8.3333. So once you find all the centroid, we need to put those values in this formula. But here what we need? We need the multiplication of these two. That is we need to multiply these two columns. So, we will get this column. That is multiplication of ai into xi. But in this formula, we need summation of ai into xi. So, we need to add all these values. So, we will get summation of ai into xi as 15.0249. So, again we need summation of ai for that we need to add all these values. So, we will get summation of ai as 3. This is nothing but the total area of fuzzy set a1 and a2. So, once you find all these values, we need to put those values in this equation. We will get the crisp value by using the center of gravity is 5.01. This is how we can find the crisp value by using the center of sum method and the center of gravity method. The remaining methods will be discussed in uh, one more video. Link for that video is given in the description below. I hope the concept of center of sum method and center of gravity method is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.